the special case of the theorem on the previous page stated that the expected value of the sum of two random variables is the sum of their expected values. This particular result is going to state that the expected value of the product of two functions of random variables is equal to the product of the expected values. So here is the result if x and y are independent. Now that's an assumption that wasn't on the previous result. Here we have to assume that x and y are independent random variables. They might be discrete or continuous, but in either case the expected value of g of x h of y is equal to the expected value of g of x times the expected value of h of y when the expectations exist for any functions g and h. Here is the proof. The expected value of g of x times h of y, and again we're doing the continuous case only. If you were doing the discrete case, these integrals would become summations. This will be g of x times h of y times the joint probability density function f of x y over the support. And again, you can write from minus infinity to infinity on both integrals because wherever you're outside of the support, you have a zero right here for the probability density function. Well, since the random variables are assumed to be independent, you can take the joint distribution and you can write it as the product of the two marginal distributions. Once you do that, you can take the x terms, which are here and here, and you can separate them out into their own integral. And you can take the y terms, which are here and here, and you can break them out into their own integral. And these two are, of course, of course multiplied. By definition, this right here is the univariate expected value of g of x and this right here is the univariate expected value of h of y and that completes the proof. A common application of this result is as follows. If x and y are independent random variables then the expected value of the product is equal to the product of the expected values.